Hi, in this video we'll look at ways of getting an RPM input, so engine RPM, into the Dinertia Free software. First of all, why would you want to do that? Well, it'd be nice if our power and torque graph displayed engine RPM and not flywheel or roller RPM. Secondly, the torque at the engine it is it requires for that calculation to know the actual engine RPM. So if we don't have the engine RPM, the software will display torque at the roller or flywheel, not at the engine. So the figure will be um, different than what you'd expect to see at the actual engine itself. So there's a couple of options here. First thing, if you've got a chassis dyno and you're doing quick testing, you simply might not even bother. You can test in speed mode. So just kilometers per hour, where we don't need to actually tell it the engine RPM and we'll accept that torque will be at the, uh, the roller itself. So that's quick and easy. But let's say that we do want engine RPM. Then there's two main concepts at play. I can open this little shortcut here. We can get the engine RPM from the speed of the, the roller or flywheel. Uh, that's the default method of doing it. We need to tell it a drive ratio to do that. And there's some clever little tricks that make that very easy. The other option we have is we can directly connect an input device to the engine itself, to the ignition system, for example. Not so easy on a lot of vehicles to actually get to the ignition system these days or to a source of, of a signal. So if we can get away with using one of our many default options, it's usually the best way to go but we'll look at both so first of all how do we tell it the drive ratio and do this function in our graph screen uh, sorry in our dyno screen where we do our actual testing we can see here the current ratio being used so at the moment it says shaft that means if I give it a little rev so I'm now running a, an engine here a little simulator so let's say around 2000 RPM. That 2000 RPM is the flywheel or shaft. I have other ratios I can choose from. We can actually set up to nine of them. We'll just leave it on shaft. Shaft's okay if it's a one-to-one -one drive ratio, but that's very unlikely that you have something like that, a dyno like that. Okay, so we need to, to do something about this ratio. For that, we have our speed to RPM screen. So when we open that up, we've got a lot of choices here. We have many options. If you have an engine dyno, the simplest thing to do is you'll just be manually entering it. So for example, I had a 52 tooth sprocket on my um, flywheel and the shaft that my flywheel's on, and my engine has 14 teeth, that would be a ratio of 52 divided by 14, which is, what, 3.7. So I'll enter it in there. Done. So now I can see a drive ratio of 3.7 is being applied. So now when we look down here, our, our engine RPM is being displayed. It's still, the roll is still doing, or the flywheel is still doing 2000, but when I select that ratio, so now we actually have engine RPM. If I come back in here and look at some other options, I don't have to do it here. I could enter it into any of these fields. So maybe I'll enter it in here. Uh, 3.7. I can even call it something if I'd like. Um, Maybe if I'm testing different carts, go-kart engines with different options, I might want to call it to save calculating 52 tooth, 14 tooth, something like that. Whatever you choose. And that is what will be adopted as the name for that ratio. There it is there. I might want to call it after a particular engine that I test with certain size gearing. Up to you, but it is freely assignable. So we can manually enter in user ratio, 
or if you choose any of these other ratios. We also have a few other options. So that was an engine dyno the way it's usually done there. But let's say that we have a chassis dyno, or actually a chassis or engine dyno. There's another option we have available, which is we call teaching. So teaching is where we set a target RPM. So we assume that the engine or vehicle has a tachometer already fitted. So let's say here my target RPM is 4,000. I can change that. So at the moment, if I drive my vehicle or run my engine to 4,000 RPM, so let's say here in the background that my engine is now displaying 4,000 RPM. You can see my actual rollers doing 2,000 RPM, my flywheel. But let's assume that I've got the engine at 4,000. If I press any of these buttons, say this one will do, any of these will do, it's now calculated the ratio. So we taught it that, hang on, the engine's doing 4,000, the flywheel was doing 2,000, so it's calcula calculated that ratio itself. Once again, I'll try that again. Let's say, let's say the engine is now doing, let's get up a bit. Let's say the engine is now doing 4,000 RPM. I'll do a new one here. There we go. It's learnt the new ratio. So now this is displaying engine RPM. So teaching a ratio is quite a quick, simple way of, um, of doing it on an engine or chassis dyno if you've got a taco already fitted. Now, if you weren't quite happy that it wasn't reading accurate enough when you were driving the vehicle, then you can simply nudge that value as well. You can adjust the amount that the value is nudged by in the setup software uh, ratio tab. So you can adjust the increments. Often if it was a, 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 for example, a motorbike and I'm testing in fourth gear, so I've taught it in fourth gear, this ratio, you know, I might choose to call that gear four or something along those lines. So there we are, gear four, and that's the taught ratio. There's another option yet again. Um, really only for a chassis dyno here. But if you happen to know the speed that the vehicle does at a certain RPM, you can also do, let's do it here. Let's go, I know it when I'm driving that vehicle at 3,500 RPM in the gear I'm going to test, that it is doing, uh, let's say 125 kilometers per hour. The software's smart enough to see the equal signs and realize that's what you're trying to tell it. So 3,500 RPM equals 125 kilometers per hour when I'm driving it. That will now be a ratio of 1.4. There we are. So it's worked out. It knows in the hardware setup, it knows that the roller circumference uh, is so many millimetres, so it knows kilometres per hour and it can back calculate and provide us with engine RPM. You can actually even teach it a ratio just like we did, but rather than doing the vehicle taco, which we did before, this could actually be derived from a hardware source, so a direct connection to the engine. So we could actually tell it to use a connection from the engine and still do that teaching function. That's particularly handy when you might have um, ignition interference or a problem getting a reliable connection. It only needs to be working momentarily for you to teach it that ratio. So that was where we held it at a, the vehicle at a certain RPM, in this case 4,000, and we pressed a button. So there's our software options to get that allow us to get the RPM in and display engine RPM. 
we also have hardware options. So for this, this is where we're connecting to the engine. We need to enable this. Now you noticed it's greyed out. I can't operate it. That's because we need to tell the system in our setup menu that we actually have an RPM device connected, such as DTEX RPM adapter. A device that can take a signal from the engine, clean it up and process it and pass it on to the Dynertia hardware. So if we tick this box, like so, one pulse per revolution. If we were connected to an ignition coil on a spark plug or a spark plug lead, then that would be okay for two stroke. For a four stroke, we'd need to tell it 0 0.5. So a four stroke, it would be 0 0.5 pulses per revolution. In other words, it fires once per engine revolution. So whether you've got a two stroke or a four stroke is what uh, will affect that number. Okay, so it's now ready to use the hardware input. Oh, one other thing there is always too. The connections are there as well to see how to connect it up and for a hardware taco you always have the main manual as well it gives you lots more information which opens up as a PDF so now that's set up we can go RPM speed source here or we could have opened it from this icon here so now we have the ability to turn on the RPM adapter so now what it is doing, its RPM source will be from the engine itself, from a physical connection to the engine. The symbol's now changed to let you know that. There we go. So at the moment, I have no RPM signal here. So if I connect to my engine, so I'm on a simulator here, but I'm connecting to an ignition system with my RPM input. So that RPM that you read there at the moment is being derived directly from the engine and is reading direct engine RPM. So that was our other option that we have available to us to get RPM. But it's not so easy these days, as I mentioned before, to connect to ignition systems directly. They can be prone to interference. So if we can get away with one of our software options, then that's preferable. So hopefully, that helps you understand a few of the options that you have available for selecting this ratio. So in summary, for an engine dyno, we can manually enter it into any of these fields or teach it by holding the engine at a certain RPM. For a chassis dyno, usually the easiest way is just simply to teach it, so to hold the engine and a certain RPM, whatever you put in here is your target RPM, and press one of the buttons when the engine is doing that RPM and it will calculate that drive ratio. For a chassis, you also have the ability to punch in the speed. Remember, so many kilometers per hour equals, you know, 3,500 RPM equals whatever. 140 kilometers per hour. You also have that ability as well. So there's many options there without actually even physically connecting a hardware taco. So thank you very much. Hopefully that covers the key points there. Um, I look forward to seeing you in our next little instructional video. Thank you.